a friend of mine has been asking me if he should switch his entire uh, website over to microservices that are serverless on uh, Amazon Lambdas. Do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Well, is he cheap? Is he cheap? Because if he is, then that's probably going to be the best way to go. I think it's Bosses are often cheap, and Lambda is great for that because of the uh, the nature. I mean, what's the uh, the rate? It's something like uh, one cent for every million executions past the first three million executions. So uh, you can execute a whole bunch of stuff, and it's infinitely scalable. Um, if cost is a factor, I definitely go with that. Yeah, but also you have to consider that uh, Lambda functions they can only be executed like. Asynchronously, they 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 not don't sit there and wait for web 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 request. So if you if you need a web server like a website, then it has has to be a server that will be there all, all the time and listen for requests. So not 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 every task type is actually is ready for for lambdas. Background stuff and uh, processing stuff maybe yes, but but websites probably not. Yeah, um, is it is the problem with that because of uh, the startup time on a Java lambda in particular or? Um, just in lambdas in general. Uh, well, Java is the, has the, the biggest, the slowest, uh, well, the, the, the biggest startup time. So of course it, it, it is a problem there. Uh, but also, I mean, if you have a site, if you and you need to like have a DNS name that responds to some requests coming to that DNS IP address, you have that IP address to be available somewhere. And Lambda doesn't give you IP addresses. Lambda doesn't serve, give you a server. It may you need a server that will probably send the request to Lambda. Uh, and that, that that will work, but you first of all need a server, which probably costs some money, which will probably be bigger bigger money than you pay for one million number requests. All depending. I mean, yeah, you would you would need the server to, to send some requests in, but the thing about Lambda is it's tied to the AWS infrastructure. So if you were to set up an API gateway, you've got a, a RESTful webhook to fire these off. You can put notifications, and they can fire off of queue messages. They can fire off of uh, things coming into your S3 storage. So there there are ways to build um, your full application and get around that. But uh, again, I, I come down to the fact that there's a matter of cost that goes into to it and also the type of, of work too. If you've got a, a worker application, lambdas might be a great idea for taking work off of a queue, but if each working job has a potential to go beyond five minutes, then lambda just plain doesn't work right there because of the execution limit. Um, so what if he had a website that was in like a, something like Angular and then he was using the API gateway as the back end? Um, would that be a better suited type of uh, conversion? Depends. One thing I've heard about uh, problems is cost. Like, um, say it's being slammed and has tons and tons of traffic. If you were to do that kind of situation, would Lambda actually be any cheaper then at that point? Or maybe even cost more than a traditional server? It depends upon... It depends upon how many uh, executions you have and how how fine grained your microservices are and how the cost is. So it, it really depends. You'd need to do a good site analysis of, of your application and figure that out. There's no real clear solution, but generally speaking, I think there's nothing wrong with Lambda. Yeah, and I guess probably no, nobody yet tried to do the setup that you described. We, we still have to wait for, for somebody to try it first, <laughs> then, then decide. Yeah, I did hear an example of uh, somebody that tried to do it um, on something that was thousands of requests um, uh, per minute, and they said that it was got for them extremely expensive, and they could have just built out servers at that point. But I don't have the hard numbers. It was just kind of a rumor. But yeah, for any kind of small things or th things that are idle very often, seems like it's a winner. Oh, good luck to your friend. Hopefully he gives a good sight. <laughs>